I want to um, underscore uh, some of the challenges we face in the advancement of the sexual health agenda, the problems and difficulties we have encountered to uh, um, implement actions that we have been recommending. And uh, we have different elements that we need to take into consideration to move ahead uh, in the uh, uh, implementation of uh, the different actions uh, contemplated within the uh, sexual health agenda and the uh, evidence-based sexuality education. And, and I'm gonna very quickly refer to each one of them, starting with uh, one uh, uh, difficulty we face all the time, which is the lack of a conceptual consensus. Every time we arrive to a meeting and uh, we start talking about uh, uh, our uh, basic uh, tenets about sexuality, uh, sexual health, sexuality education. In the best of the cases, uh, we, we find a confusion about the alphabet soup. Uh, people need to understand what's the meaning of those constructs that uh, are frequently employed in, uh, in sexuality education and sexual health. Uh, A, G, B, T, I, Q, Q. Uh, that's uh, the best scenario. The worst scenario is when uh, we get there and find uh, a stew, uh, a chowder, in which people have a complete confusion about uh, uh, these essential uh, concepts. Uh, uh, we need uh, to uh, create a common ground, first of all, and uh, this is a must when we are uh, establishing a, a constructive dialogue to uh, work with uh, uh, partners. Uh, we need to have a clear understanding what's the meaning of sexual health. For many people, this uh, an idea which is limited to reproductive hygiene. But uh, we need to incorporate this notion and uh, add to it the uh, uh, idea of uh, promotion of, of a fulfilling life, uh, in which we put a special emphasis on guilt and shame-free sexuality. We focus on gratification and pleasure as essential elements to wellness. Uh, uh, we base our actions on uh, respectful, positive, and egalitarian interactions. And uh, we introduce reproductive choices as a dimension of a healthy sexuality. After we have established these common grounds, we need to uh, uh, have agreement on purposes and goals. Many times we sit down with partners and uh, we have uh, different views and perspectives on what we want to achieve with our uh, activities. So uh, we may have many questions. The important thing is that uh, we uh, get to an agreement. We have a consensus on what, where we are heading to. Uh, we need to have a very well-defined framework. And uh, when uh, uh, we uh, put our uh, pillars, two elements which are uh, fundamental, we keep insisting on our actions and uh, advance our agenda in such a way that uh, we end dragging other actors and try to find who are the appropriate partners to move ahead. Uh, when uh, we establish consensus, it's very important to define the cross-cutting uh, elements that need to be in place to advance the agenda. And uh, these can be entities, uh, like uh, committees, like uh, working groups, or could be functions. We need to be tremendously careful about this because we can have layers of uh, complexity of bureaucracy and uh, these layers of uh, complexity may hamper the uh, advancement of the agenda. We need to harmonize and simplify procedures. We need to identify uh, and define uh, roles and responsibilities. And we have to identify the commonalities and shared agendas. Uh, once Mr. Health, working with the Minister of Education, um, but we're interested in knowing if there's going to be an official report put out and if governments are reporting um, on what actions they're taking to reach the goals that they've set. So, thank you very much. All right, thanks. Can we have the next, please? Hi, this is Eugenia from Mexico. 
I just would like to, to make an invitation to try to link the sexual health agenda with the kind of revision that is going on now in the countries and take advantage that in Latin America is the only region where we have the signed document. And also to, to highlight that on the CPD resolution of this year, we did achieve to include comprehensive based evidence sexual education as a commitment for governments. So I think that we need to link those things in order to make uh, more strong us. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not very really satisfied with the answer I got standing back here. I think we, look, we need to look at it in context of HIV, not just uh, health, but specifically of HIV and how we're going to deal with this. Uh, I understand the need of diplomacy, but at some point I think that this has to come from the top down and these policies have to be kind of imposed. By, by leaders of the countries and, and, and get over this fight among ministers so uh, a, a national policy can, can be achieved. Thank you.